Hey guys, welcome back to Ants Gaming and today I want to talk a little bit about Hades, Boons and I'm going to make a, not a tier list, but I'm just going to highlight a few that I think are game changers and a lot of fun to play, right? I'm not going to rate all of them because there's just way too many. So I'm just going to start off right away with an S tier uh, duo boon that I really like, which is called Hunting Blades. So this is... Uh, from the Ares' cast, a Blade Rift, and combine it with Artemis' uh, skills, it will actually seek the nearest foe. So it will like try to uh, hunt them down, right? And because it's a DPS, it really hurts, uh, and it can hit several uh, enemies at once. This is why I think it's an S tier. You can just like cast it and just run around, and the enemies will die. So this is my first uh favorite uh, duo uh boon that i always try try to get and the second one uh a duo boon that's also a cast that i really like is called crystal clarity now what this does is actually it similar uh that it chases it tracks the foes but it's uh casting the frozen beam from Demeter's cast, right? Usually it's very slow and it doesn't find the person. If they're moving around fast, it doesn't hit them and so it's useless. But with this um, upgrade, it will track them really, really fast and it will incre also increases a little bit uh, of the damage, right? So if you have this, again, just drop it and just run around the map and the enemies will die. <laughs> and with the same uh, concept, this other duo boon that I really like is called Lightning Rod. So this is fun because um, if you drop this, uh, if you drop your uh, crystals uh, and it's on the ground, your bloodstones, don't pick it up and it will just strike lightning on nearby foes. So it's like you can go AFK and just run around and this lightning will just strike everyone and it, it does pretty good damage, actually 70. If you're patient enough, everyone will die, even the last boss. So these three buffs are, are kind of uh, are kind of cool in a way that I think they're game changers and it's pretty easy to get consistently, right? All you have to do is get one of these from Artemis, either like the Deadly Strike or the, or the Special Upgrade, and then try to get the casts uh, from Ares. Or if you get Demeter first, you can get Crystal Beam. And the Lightning Rod is actually easy as well. Just get something from Zeus, which I like to get his uh, Zeus's aid. So all of these become A tier because just getting them uh, will make you get these S tier um, boons uh, more likely, all right? And just the last, the last S tier boon that I really think is funny is called Stubborn Roots. Again, this is Demeter and Zeus so you can get you can you probably can get this by these two I think uh, let me double check on that um, oh wait no it's Athena so Athena you have to get something like Divine Dash which is also really good so if you get Athena and Demeter um, you can get this skill called Stubborn Roots which basically it uh, regenerates your life if you don't have any uh, stubborn defiance right um, if you're like on your last life it will generate one HP every 0.8 seconds. So this is quite absurd because um, usually you come to the end of the game or uh, or facing a boss with like over 150 HP, right? And if you're good at dodging, right, it just regenerates pretty fast. So you will you probably should not die if you just dodge for a few seconds, right? For like a minute, you get 60 HP back. More than that, actually. So. Having this is basically like, okay, you win the game, right? Unless you like uh, die on purpose or something. But yeah, so these four are the S tiers that I try to get. And these are the A tiers because just getting them, getting these uh, makes your chances of receiving uh, these four much more likely. And other than that, I would, uh, I would also try and get the upgrades, right? Because there are a few things that are interesting, like um, this one. It's an upgrade for hunting blades. It makes it, uh, it sucks people in, right? And there's another one that actually makes it bigger. I think it's this one, right? If you can get these upgrades for the blades, that'll be, that'll be good as well. And for the 
crystal beam there's also a few upgrades there that makes it like uh, apply chill and like it can shatter people I don't know which one is which but yeah just try to get the upgrades for these casts as well and same goes with the lightning rod you can try and get like the upgrades for the uh, for the thunder right to make them like hit more people I think there's a few of them like like I don't know if it's this one or this one but like try to get the upgrades for these uh, core things up here and I think in general um, Hermes is also inter uh, useful because if you're if you're playing these these style of boons you want to run around fast right because these things are just like uh, you just drop them and you run so you can you, you try to get like something uh, from Hermes like um, this one this one or these one I think these three actually uh, make you either run faster or um, adds more dash or you know just makes you um, be able to move around the map right so that, that's pretty much all that I want to say here so these are the four S tier uh, boons that I try to get I mean there are some legendary boons um, but it's not worth mentioning because if you get a legendary you, you gotta pick it up right it doesn't matter what it is just get it and but these ones you have to kind of plan ahead and get these other boons first so these will appear right and other things worth mentioning actually it's urge to kill this is pretty interesting that it it increases damage um, and things from Dionysus like um, the ones that make hangover are also interesting if you pair them with uh, weak this is actually a pretty powerful one but I, I don't get it as much because I don't pick up um, Aphrodite or Dionysus as much so this could be interesting uh, curse of longing um, but I don't play it as much let me know if you find if you are you know if you have another play style that actually has a better S tier than these four. I'm very interested to know um, if this is like the most powerful or are there more things that are better. But this is how I play the game, so hopefully that's useful. Just try to get these uh, skills first, guys, and try these out. These are a lot of fun. So yeah. That's all I'm going to say today, guys. So uh, thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.